This project is now what we call 60% complete, which means we've finished most of our civil works. The first stage of the project was to put a half a metre limestone cap across the top of the wetland. That encapsulated all the sediment underneath that limestone cap so it wouldn't interact with the water and cause algal blooms. This project relies on what we call a treatment train approach. The first stage that we need to do is get the water from the Bayswater Brook into the bird sanctuary. We do that through this weir. 200 litres per second of water is diverted from the weir into the gross pollutant trap. From there, a further 50 litres per second moves into the wetland and the rest of the water moves back into the main drain. The second element of the project is where the water moves into a gross pollutant trap. This is the device that removes sediment, rubbish and other materials from the water before it enters the bird sanctuary. Each year, the gross pollutant trap will stop 28 tonnes of pollutants going into the Swan River. The design of the wetland is a horseshoe shape. It starts off with deep water, moves to shallow water and then deep water again. That gives us two really great outcomes. One is the deep, shallow, deep section of the wetland causes different water conditions that take nitrogen out of the water. The second benefit that we have is it creates deep water areas for birds such as black swans and shallow water areas for wading birds like herons and spoonbills. This winter we're going to come back and plant 150,000 native sedges and rushes in the wetland. These sedges and rushes will help to remove some of the pollutants that go into the Swan River, but they're also going to create a whole bunch of habitat for all our native wildlife. Once this wetland project is completed, we expect it to annually prevent 1.3 tonnes of nitrogen, 200 kilos of phosphorus and 40 tonnes of gross pollutants and sediments going into the river. The Eric Singleton Bird Sanctuary project is on time and on budget. We look forward to updating you in spring when the project will be complete.